Computer updated. Bloop, 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 computer updated, and hello everyone, Simon here. We have computer updated. With, okay, fine. We are playing through Quake 2, and uh, I just looked up. Computer okay, okay, I know. So uh, there are 10 units in the game. So we've played through three units. This is the fourth one, the mine. I just looked it up because I was wondering how long the game is. So we've played through three units, and there are going to be... Seven more. This is the fourth one. Alright. So what's going on here? I don't know, a corridor and a door. And then enemies. Because why not? Alright. So we... Let's see, so we went through an, like a, a military base. And then we went through... A warehouse? And then... Military base, a warehouse... This is a mine. There's a prison, that's right, a prison. This is a mine. Oh look, they give you a... They give you that gun at the very start. That's useful. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Let's see, there's loot back there. Bonus health. A lot of ammo. What is this? Main factory door impossible. Okay, I see. Wait a minute. Why is that? Okay, so we can walk up there, I think. To grab that? But then what happens after we grab it? Do we have to swim through the lava to get back? That seems unreasonable to me, to be perfectly honest. Let me, uh, you know, save the game. And I guess, like, at the... after every unit, we can just start from uh, save point one again. Because we're not going to go backwards, I don't think. Alright, so we can do this. And get this. And then we have to lava our way back, really? Oh, and then that opens up that... Those enemies? Stupid slope. I am pretty sure that wasn't worth it, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, we used a lot of shotgun shells to kill those enemies. I don't, I don't know if that was worth it or not. I don't think it was. Anyway, uh, since we have bullets, let's use the bullets. It takes so many bullets to kill one of those guys. Look at that. It takes so many bullets. Because the shotgun, like, it's a shotgun, right? I think every pellet of the shotgun counts as a bullet. So however many shotgun pellets it takes, that's how many times you have to shoot them with the bullets. I'm not sure I entirely agree with the way the uh, the weapons are balanced. Although I guess the shotgun is only short ranged. Maybe that's what they. Uh, that's how they justify the uh, the power balance of the weapons. You can use the machine gun at long range, kind of, it's not very accurate. Whereas the shotgun becomes much less useful at long range. Let me just deal with those. And are those breakable? No. Alright.
Are there enemies up there? Alright, so there's, there's lava. I guess if we fall down there, we die, right? How do I get up there? Wait a minute. Oh, that thing. What did that actually open? Something blew up behind us. Why did something blow up behind us? I don't know. Alright, so there's that. But there's also, what is this? This is just ammo and loot, unless there's... Secret... nope. Alright, let's keep going. The mine doesn't really have any mining equipment or anything of that sort, which is a little bit strange if you think about it. A uh, giant cylinder thing. Like if you... well I mean I guess they're aliens. Like, the strong are not humans. Like, if you look at a mine, there are quite specific things that a mine needs. Like, there are mine shafts, usually. And then there's, like, uh, machines to move materials up and down. You know, because that's what a mine does. Like, a mine extracts materials from the ground. So as we move through the level, we're thinking about the lack of any equipment that might move materials. Because, like, how do you... crap. That's not the one I want. Uh, can I wait for the barrels? Oh good, it uh, wrecked itself on the barrels. So yeah, like there's there's no there's nothing to move materials around. So how can it be a mine if nothing is being extracted? See what I mean? You see what I'm trying to say? Ah, uh, that failed. That's the exit. Okay, so that's that's the end of the mine entrance. So the mine is just a, a path. I want to see what's in the water. But before I do that, I'm going to save. Just to make sure no terrible ha things happen to us. This is the most shallow bit of water ever. Look at this. <laughs> it's like three feet deep or something. Look at this. Wow, this is uh, this is sad water. <laughs> this is the most uninteresting water ever. Okay, right. And you, this is like ankle deep, and you get stuck on the geometry. Ankle deep water with nothing in it. All right. Well, there, there's a level. See, I mean, now it looks more like a mine, but if, if this is how you get into the mine, how do you get rocks out? Right? Like, now we are kind of in a mine shaft, which makes a bit of sense. But how do you ever get anything out of the mine? I know the game doesn't really need to answer these questions in order to be fun, right? Like, the game just needs to allow you to run around and shoot things in order to be fun. But I would suggest that the game is much more interesting if it does answer these questions. Because the game potentially can t 
tell a much more engaging and interesting story? Oh, that's a rocket launcher. Alright, we finally have a rocket launcher. We're not gonna use it yet. We're gonna save it for when we really, really need it. Which is not now. I'm not gonna do that because that thing drops grenades on us. So I'm not gonna fight him from that angle. That is death. Let me avoid the death pit of death and come over this way. Ah, oh, this is kind of bad. But what is kind of good is that that guy just jumped down there, so we don't have to worry about the grenades anymore as much. Who is still shooting at me? This guy? Alright, that guy. Alright, good, done. Ah, uh, that was a, a pretty serious ambush. That drops me into death, right? I mean, there's loot down there, but then we go down there. I'm not sure if we can get back up again. Let me save. And just test this. Because that is death. So I'm not sure why the game would let you do this. <laughs> it seems like a pretty nasty trap to me. Can I just jump back out? Seems like I can almost jump back out. Oh, I can probably do it actually. I can probably rocket jump back out is all I can do. But that just seems like a an equally nasty trap if I rocket jump. Rocket jump, you, you take damage if you rocket jump. Let me just try to avoid dying. Oh, that's not too bad. Not sure if that was worth it, but that's not too bad. Alright, let's get out of here. Chain gun there. Nope. Ah, uh, grenades? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Grenade's pretty good. I did grenade myself a little bit. Those grenades aren't actually hitting him. Okay, let's not grenade anymore. He's too close. Ah, uh, yeah. Not sure if that's the best strategy. But we're fine. The chain gun that drops us back down. Okay, here we are. That drops us back down. That guy's just standing there. Ideally, you want to hit them directly with the grenade, because otherwise it's not that reliable. Dude. So, I keep wanting to look around for secrets, maybe I shouldn't. Alright, kill those guys, don't get hit by that guy. Fine. Ow. Avoid the explosion. That's fine. Uh, that's less fine. Keep 
trying to time the uh, time the the, the the what are they called? The blaster shots. Was there? No, there were no bullets. All right. So we're still going through corridors and rooms, right? And we're gonna try and oh look, loot. How do we get it without dying? We have to fall back down again to get that loot. Uh, okay, well there's multiple paths. Let me just check what this stuff is. Ooh, grenades, crap. Grenades in tight spaces. So this goes down. This goes down where? Hmm, fascinating. I suppose... We can come back up. Alright, so let me... Let me save the game again. Let me save... The game again, and then... See how dangerous this is. There's a guy down there. So there's a f fan thing. Oh, there's, there's that thing there as well. I can probably grenade. Grenade down there, I'm not sure how. That's not gonna work. Where is that thing? Oh, that hit it. Good. Um, not quite. Uh, we're kind of close. Oh, that that's that was kind of close. <laughs> kind of entertaining, not sure if we're achieving much. Oh, that might hit him, nope. What about it? Oh crap, is that underneath the fan? Okay, never mind, we're fine. We... Ah, there you go. Hit him in the face. Ah, not quite. So I mean, it's ran. It's it's movement is slightly random, and the grenade bounces are also difficult to control. Oh, that's good. Get wrecked. <laughs> I mean, we use a lot of grenades to do that. I was hoping the water would break my fall. Okay, there's the exit, I see. Oh crap, toxic conditions present, okay. Let's not... We wasted that health doing that, alright. So this is the exit. So we need to figure out how to open that up. What does that say? Um... Toxic conditions found in lower mines. Activate ventilation systems, I see. Oh, this might get nasty. Alright, so we want to come this way. We're going to have to go deeper into the into the ground. Uh, no. No. Dude. Stop it. I... Wow, I got... I got railed anyway. Alright, it's dead. Uh, I did take one real gun hit, which is not cool.
and everyone else is dead. Cool, amazing. Uh, it's not too bad, I suppose. You can go down there. Why do? Why would anyone do that? Unless there's loot down there somehow. That seems like a trap. This just this is just seems too much like a trap for me to be okay with it. 